Hello, I'm Joe Wren. Indiana began its new fiscal year with tax collections that were roughly on target with where the state wants them to be. The state didn't take in as much money in taxes in July as budget writers planned, but it was close. Only 0.2 percent off the mark, and most major tax categories outperformed expectations. U.S. Representative Greg Pence met with farmers during a closed-door meeting in Shelbyville last night. The congressman says he's heard from a number of farmers on issues ranging from immigration to tariffs and trade. It's really up to the administration to kind of lead and tell us uh, where, where they're going to go next. And it's our oversight, Congress's oversight responsibility to, to kind of monitor that. Most farmers at the event say they believe in the Republican Party's agenda and trust Trump to take care of the trade situation that has caused net farm incomes to decline. Well, there will again be two farmers markets in Bloomington this weekend. The East Side Farmers Market at the Blooming Foods East parking lot and the Bloomington Community Farmers Market at Showers Plaza. We're always open to tweaks. We, we heard some about parking and handicap parking and some other things we may be working at. But basically, um, the vendors will be back and we welcome everybody back to the market. Hamilton says all but three vendors returned to the downtown market last Saturday. That's following a two-week hiatus. He says the changes implemented last weekend will continue for the next few weeks. Now here's a quick check of the forecast for tonight. A 50% chance of thunderstorms, lows down to 63 degrees. In the five-day forecast tomorrow, a slight chance of storms, 80 the high, then clearing out on Saturday, mostly sunny, highs up to 78, 79, partly sunny on Sunday. Slight chance of thunderstorms back into the forecast on Monday, highs up to 83 degrees. More news online at WTIUnews.org.